If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com. You're going to click on FIFA 21 right here. Choose your platform you're buying coins on. Choose the amount of coins you'd like to purchase. Click buy now and then put in the discount code CHIEF for 6% off your order. Now let's go ahead and let's get right into this video. What's up guys, it's Feeve Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you me playing foot champs with my full Manchester City team on FIFA 21. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you guys do please hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21, so it would mean a lot if you did subscribe. And then make sure to check out all the links in the description, like Twitch for all my daily live streams, Discord for all sorts of trading advice and investments and then all the other links down there as well and with that said let's go ahead and let's jump right into this video and if you guys do want to see kind of more videos like this please drop a like on this now this is my Manchester City team now we've got quite a few players on the bench here some decent players as well but we're going to be running a 4-3-1-2 with this squad. A lot of these players you would have seen yesterday in my main team. Some of them that are new would be the addition of Rodri, the addition of Mares, Cancelo. And my main team does change a lot, so a lot of these guys sometimes are in and out of the squad. But we're going to run it in a 4-3-1-2 like I mentioned. I'm going to go Aguero and Mares up front. With Sterling and it can't. Oh, I might go Sterling. You know what? We're gonna go Sterling striker. We're gonna, we're gonna play Mares at Cam, and then we're gonna go Foden, Rodri, De Bruyne in the midfield, and then we're gonna move Cancelo to left back because I feel like he's just better suited to play left back than Walker. Move Walker over to the right, and then obviously Laporte and Diaz. Laporte will be on the left because he is in fact left footed. My custom tactics are in yesterday's video as well if you want to see those, but. An unbelievable squad here. I haven't played with Rodri in ages, so I'm excited to get him back into the team. I decided to use him over Gundogan just because I wanted at least one out-and-out -out defensive midfielder to play in the midfield alongside De Bruyne and Foden. So I've opted for him, and then obviously Aguero Sterling up front with Mares in at Cam is going to be outrageous. And then on the bench here, we got Gundogan, Ake, Zinchenko, and Stones being four City players. We got three past City players in Tevez, Hart, and Dzeko. And then we just got the US boys chilling down here on the reserves. Yeah, absolute beauties. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into foot champs here. We're 9-1 in foot champs at the moment. So a little worried that we're going to get absolutely slapped here on this video, matching up against someone that's actually really good. But yeah, I'm super excited to play with the City team. The only player I'm really missing at this point is going to be that Summer Stars, Ferran Torres. Outside of that, I'm really not missing any. I can't think of any cards I'm missing in terms of the big Manchester City players I'm gonna, I need to get. I'm pretty sure I've got absolutely every single card for City. And we do find a game here, so we can go ahead and jump right in here and our opponent has left the match we're gonna have to find another one here but yeah i'm pretty sure uh, let me know if you guys think i'm missing anything i'm pretty sure i've gotten absolutely everything and then just in terms of the squad going like back to front talking about it ederson best keeper in any fifa i've ever used laporte and diaz they don't feel super quick in game but these dudes never miss a tackle uh, Walker defensively doesn't miss a beat. Cancelo could use a bit more physicality as we get into a game against a very, very good team here. Very, very solid team. Worried about that Neymar up front. Could give me issues. But Cancelo could use a bit more physicality. Great going forward. In the midfield, Rodri could feel a bit slow. He felt slow before. I can imagine he's going to feel even slower now. But Foden and De Bruyne alongside him are going to be able to do the job. And then up front, Mara's in at Cam, a card I've always loved with Aguero and Sterling, who are both absolute monsters. If you watch yesterday's video, though, Sterling had some questionable shots get saved at the end of the game. Quite a few chances, but we ended up winning anyway. I don't know if it was just because that dude had Ederson and Ederson's the best keeper ever, or if I... if. I was messing it up or if Sterling's finishing was just all over the place, which it really shouldn't be considering he's got 99 finishing. Can't be having that sort of issue on that card. 
Oh no, I'm already making a mess of things here, conceding terrible possession, but he's miles off there. We'll go ahead and go up the sideline here. Let's see what we can do. Let's be smart here. I definitely think this guy is actually a solid player, so we're going to have ourselves a game here in this video. Hopefully, we can at least hold our own and not get absolutely slapped up. Here we go with Sterling, though. Round the corner. We found out in yesterday's video as well, Sterling's scoop turn is just something. It's magical. It's something different. The Raheem Sterling scoop turn on FIFA 21 is different gravy. It is actually different gravy. It's so good. Here goes Sterling. Sees Aguero in the middle. Oh, that pass almost worked. We had so much space as well. So much space. It would have been a goal. Oh, but we're fine. We're finding pockets of space in the box, boys. We're finding pockets of space. It's Raheem Sterling here. It's Raheem Sterling. Oh, too much. I should have finessed it early there. I had the space. Rodri getting a lot of early interceptions here as well. Go on. One, two. Oh, Sterling into the space, sees the pass across to Mares, and Mares finishes it. It's 1-0. Raheem Sterling to Riyad Mares. There it is. 1-0, boys. To the good guys. That's brilliant play there. Sterling's quick feet in the box just feel unbelievable. He's so silky, man. And then Mares getting into the perfect space for us to square it across. Go on. A Raheem Sterling scoop turn. You know what that means? He's off to the races. And another one. Oh my goodness, you know he's giving him the work. He's giving him the work down the line. Here we go. Into Mares, Rodri, Aguero, Mares. Into the space to De Bruyne. Nothing on, but he's going to come back down the line here. Nothing on again. He's going to square that across. Oh, it nearly finds Aguero's feet. It would have been an instant goal. You know he's slapping that into the back of the net. Good work from De Bruyne. Just didn't quite have an option to pick oh he's through here on the counter though oh my goodness one through ball down the line that's so frustrating man he he gets the ball off of a missed opportunity and then just plays one threaded through ball down the line and all of a sudden it's 1-1 after all the chances we've had absolutely dominating this game that's a foul right there that's frustrating stuff man very frustrating I don't feel like he deserves that at all here, but it's not, the aim of the game isn't to deserve it or have the most chances, it's to have the most goals at the end, so we move. Oh my goodness, not this again. Wow, he actually almost did it again. Oh my goodness, what is that pass? He actually almost did it again with one through ball. I would have been fuming, actually. I would have been absolutely fuming. Ooh, he gets a good chance there. I got to relax on play with my defenders and start pulling my midfielders back a bit more because he is dangerous with Neymar and Eusebio. Oh my goodness. He's making chance after chance now. He's just looking for Neymar and Eusebio and getting it into their feet and just going to work with them. Oh my goodness. Oh, not Neymar again. Oh, that's a great challenge. We got to get bodies around him so he. I can't let him get one-on-one -on -one with me. Cannot let that happen. I also can't do stupid things like that and give away possession. Easy stuff there, though. See, just control the midfield, pressure him, and he's going to make that bad pass. Here we go, though. Foden's found some space here. Foden's found some nice space here. I wanted to play Mares in there, but I didn't think that ball would have gone through. I'm going to play that. I see Aguero back. It plays Foden, who I'm hoping is onside, into Sterling here, who's going to scoop turn. Oh, just loses control of it there. That was a great tackle to somehow get the ball without catching me there. Oh, yes, Laporte. That's brilliant defending. Jumps into the way of that through ball immediately. Absolutely immediately. Go on, Sterling. Sees De Bruyne. De Bruyne's just going to hit it first time. Nearly falls for us. Back out into Mares. Oh, I should have just turned and shot. But it's a penalty there. It's a penalty. There we go, boys. There we go. Laporte gives up the penalty. A city player. We're going to do the normal the normal routine here. You know what it is. Look left, dink it down the middle, and we've got him there. It's 2-1. Sergio Aguero does the job at the spot there, boys. Deserved goal there. Good chances. Should have shot with Mares. I tried to turn back to get it on his left, but we end up getting a penalty out of it. So no worries there. Oh no. Oh no. 
Get back here. Again, control the midfield. Don't get caught one-on-one -on -one with Neymar. That's the big thing here. Oh, that's brilliant from Phil Foden. Wasn't even controlling him, and he's tracking all the way back and getting a tackle in. That's unreal stuff from Foden. I see Mares down the line. Oh, it was a good run. I just couldn't quite fit that ball through. Laporte again, man. Some vital interceptions. Neymar absolutely going at our summer stars, Laporte. And Laporte very much holding his own here. Oh. I saw that Kevin De Bruyne run and I wanted it first time, but he got that last second tackle in. Here we go to Mares. Into Sterling. Oh, it's that last pass, boys. He's getting those tackles in at that last second. Go on, De Bruyne. Keep control of that. We could cut in here. We see Raheem Sterling. Sees Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, just couldn't get that. What is that header? That was so simple. It should have just been right down to feet. Oh, great challenge there. Oh, that could have been 3-1 right there. That could have been 3-1 just like that. Go on, ref. Blow the whistle, son. Blow the whistle, son. Blow the whistle. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, my. He's just gone straight through me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I've put in a tackle, and he's literally gone straight through my body right there. That is so frustrating, man. That is so frustrating. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. This is when this game just gets to you, bro. This is when it just gets to you. Such frustrating goals to concede. First one, just a long through ball down the line after a couple chances. And then that one, just at the stroke of halftime. I mean, I've stood right there. I've read the play. I've made the tackle. And it's just bounced off me straight to him. We've got to win this game, though. Got to win this game. So much better than this guy. So much better. He hasn't shown much here. He really hasn't shown much. But he's got space here. Good save from Ederson. Good save. There was just no chance that was going in from there. I would have been fuming if it did. Oh, yes. I've read that. I've read that. He did that on the other two. He did that on the other two. Play him back. Phil Foden here. Cuts in. He's going to play it back. And then play him back down the line. I believe he's onside here. Oh, great challenge. There was no pass there. I was just going to try to cut in and then see if he was still waiting to intercept a pass. And then I was just going to hit it near post. Kind of catch up. I feel like I get a lot of people like that. People just keep marking the pass into the middle. And then you can just sla just keep dribbling inward, get the angle, and hit that thing near post. But here goes Sterling here. Here goes Sterling. Back down the line. Sees Aguero in the middle. Oh my goodness. It, the pass is just behind him so he can't get a proper strike on it. No. Such a good chance there, man. But it's gone wide. It's gone wide. Oh, come on. Tell me he's not just going to play one through ball again and go through. Tell me. Yes, Kyle. Beautiful stuff. That's great team defending. Great team defending. Come on, Kyle. Yes. No, what is that ball? We had a run. We had a run in behind. Big tackle. Yes, Diaz. Get it into De Bruyne's feet. Scoop turn. Back inside. Sterling. Mares. Sterling. Big touch, son. Big touch. Big touch. Cuts it back. What a challenge there again, 61st minute, an amazing chance for us, and he gets a cracking challenge. Oh, surely that's not going to, okay, there we go. He's passed it straight to me. Oh, that's gorgeous. Phil Foden, surely he's not just done that. Oh my goodness. Falls to Sterling, finds Aguero, Aguero quick feet, Aguero quick feet. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic play. That's fantastic play from Sergio Aguero. It's another corner for us. It's another corner kick for us. Oh my goodness. We're getting these chances, boys. We've just got to find that clear-cut shot and put it in the back of the net. Put it in the back of the net. We're getting in the areas. 
Oh, surely that's just not happened. He is finding those through balls on the outside. I don't know how to correct that or what I can do. Go on, Mares. If that ball went through, man, that would have been unreal from Aguero. That would have been unreal. Come on, Laporte. You're a big man. That's Neymar. No chance he's bodying Laporte. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. Into Sterling here. We're going to get the subs on again. Go on. Play him. De Bruyne with some quick feet in the middle. Beats one. Drops the shoulder. Back into Aguero. Into Mares. Oh. He's getting that tackle in every time. If I just can get one more touch to get that pass off, then that'd be it. That'd be it. If I can just get a third goal here, we would not concede another one. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. Oh, great ball. Get a foot to it. Mares. Oh, my goodness. His defense has had a shocker there. Gone sliding in for the challenge. Gets a foot to it. But it falls straight to Mares for us. All right. What do we do here? We're going to go. We're going to go Gundo for Phil. Just get a bit of... Fr I mean, do we? My subs really aren't great with this team. I'm going to go Ake for Laporte because Laporte's gassed from running there. I'm going to get Tevez on for Aguero. And then I am going to go Gundo for Phil. Just get the fresh legs in the midfield. There we go. Let's do that. Three subs on here. Come on, boys. Come on. Hold the line. Hold the line. We got like 17, 16 minutes. Be smart with the defense. Track with the midfield. And we could potentially just get a fourth here to put this to bed with how, they're def with how he's defending at the moment. All right, here we go. Just be smart. There's Gundo's run there. We're going to dink that into Tevez if we can. Come on, get there, Tevez. Get there, Tevez. Fresh legs. Oh, yes, Tevez. Oh, no. Bad touch there. Oh, Gundo. That's why we bring the fresh legs on, boys. He's tracking back and wins that back for us. A vital tackle. Oh, bridge there from Tevez. Gets us around the corner. Hit that ball roll. Oh, Gundo here again. Gundo getting very involved early here after getting subbed on. Involved early here. He's going to find Rodri back. I want to wait for my midfield to regroup here. I see I see Mares. Falls nicely to us there. I see De Bruyne. Sterling. Didn't play Sterling. That could work, though. That could work. It's Kevin De Bruyne. It's 4-2 in the 83rd minute. That's brilliant stuff, boys. It's 4-2. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That'll be the game. That'll be the game. Kevin De Bruyne seals it. Riyad Mahrez, two goals and an assist here. What a performance. First time back in the team in quite a bit after the changes. Oh, my goodness. He's putting on an absolute show here, boys. He's putting on an absolute show for the fans. I can't believe what I'm watching. Headliners Riyad Mahrez finds himself back into the team and says, do not drop me again. He's miles off there. Oh, no. Oh, what a challenge. What a challenge. Father Ruben. Father, oh, Tevez, that's filthy. And again, son, and again, it's the fresh legs, boys. It's the fresh legs. You know what he's about. Oh, Tevez, you can't do that. That's disgusting. Oh, it's a corner kick here. It's a corner kick in the 88th minute, and the fans are singing the victory chants. Ole, 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 ole. Ole. Oh my god, Sterling. Oh, ah, that would have been too much if we actually scored off that. He'd done the whole team. The whole team was gone missing. 90th minute. He's just going to pass it back here. That is the game, boys. What a performance there. Frustrating two goals to concede, but we bounce back. We get the win here. 4-2. to two. Let's see what the final results were in terms of how everyone did. Mars with a 10.0 with the two goals and assists. Sterling, two assists. Rodri gets an assist. De Bruyne, a goal. Aguero, a goal. 
It's fantastic stuff, boys. A fairly even game in terms of shots, but we had 72% possession. That is incredible numbers right there. Absolutely dominated the play there, had the better chances. I feel like we were just the better team there. Just the better team. And that is our foot champs with the Manchester City team. That puts us on 10 and 1 for the weekend, boys. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.